So we got three minutes here. So uh, my name is Chiyun Shu from uh, University of Missouri, Columbia. And uh, I'm going to share uh, two case studies uh, telling you a little bit story about that and also challenges like, you know, for those projects. Uh, the first project actually is from uh, my colleagues. Uh, Dr. Hammer is a pathologist. He used to practice in Texas, and then he found some acute leukemia cases just like you know, once per month or once every month, every other month. And then later, like he moved to a new location just like Wu. You have seen that like multiple cases per week. So like, you know, uh, we poisoned him enough, like you know, he is able to understand what's the importance of geospatial things. So he came to us and said, hey, let's look at like, you know, EO, let's look at GIS data and look at whether we can find geospatial clusters or not. So like, you know, that's the first project. The second project is to work with uh, influence, influenza researchers to look at avian flu, like, you know, across the Midwest. And then looking at the genetic like assort, assortment recombination and also the flyaways information to look at farms in the Midwest, the rural area, like whether we have like you know, biosecurity issues for those or not. So the data, like you know, we uh, have exposed them curated in like multiple areas. One is geo, like you know, EO images. So we got like you know, uh, Planet Scope Sentinel, uh, also NAP. NAP is like you know, USDA, like you know, National Agriculture Imagery Program and also from Google. And um, the data for GIS data, we have about 5,000 layers of uh, curated data at the track level, census track level for all 50 states of uh, United States. And then from many, many public domain areas and put them together for that, we call GeoArc. And as well as we use electronic medical records with geocoded information for clinical studies, for prospective studies. So with that, like, you know, and also like, you know, cancer registry data, like NASR, like, you know, uh, Sears 18, uh, don't ask me why they are two, because some states want to join one and some states want to join another one. And also like, you know, the flyaways information. Birds, they don't carry passports, right? They just fly. And once they fly, they bring novel, like, you know, diseases to local areas to impact, like infect our domestic animals. And those create issues potential issues for uh, uh, renal disease. So challenges, data science challenges, like you know, if you look at uh, the data worldwide, where we can find high quality geocoded information across from GIS, EO, from like healthcare, from public domain uh, pollutants, like you know, those data or social economical data. Uh, for AI challenges, if you look at Farming, like, you know, activities, it's not just simple classification. You got to look at how you do the reasoning, right? When you have domain experts to come, they say, well, this is high risk. Why that's high risk? Because the area has been abandoned for a while, because they don't have activities, you see here and there. So how they use human reasoning idea to look at, and you can see, like, you know, gaze activities for experts, and then how we work on that. And on the right hand side here, you can see like, you know, cancer exposed on like, you know, research, like how we find subgroups of the patients in a subgroup of the location, because there shouldn't be a machine learning model that is applicable for every single one. So I'm done. All right. Okay. So next speaker.